Okay, next we're going to look at uh, three problems where you're given a side-side angle and call it the ambiguous case because uh, there are situations where sometimes this setup has one solution, sometimes it has no solution, sometimes it has two solutions. Uh, we're going to do this one first with one solution, then we'll get through the other two, and after we understand why the last one has two solutions, I'm going to come back to this one with one solution and explain why it only has one. Um, but let's just kind of begin the process of solving this problem. I've got one angle, two sides. I don't know if this is an obtuse triangle or not, so you just draw it however you want and you know let, let the numbers be exact, not necessarily the drawing to scale. So I'm just gonna make a triangle. There's angle A. It can be wherever you want it to be in your picture. So maybe and here's little a. Okay, we could call this angle B. So that means here's little b. This would then be angle C. Here's side C. Okay, well in this particular setup, notice that we already have a pair across from each other. So we're going to go ahead and pair these two together. We could say that sine of angle A over side A is equal to, I can't do anything with C's yet because I don't know either of them, but I can go with this one. I can say that the sine of angle B over little b. So I cross multiply and then I'll divide by the 22. So I'm going to have sine of angle B equals 12 sine of 42 divided by 22. So let's do that on the calculator. I get the sine of angle B to be 0 0.36498, etc. Now that's not the measure of angle B, that's the sine of angle B. So if we want to get B by itself, we have to do sine inverse of this decimal. And if you kept it on the calculator, you can just use the answer feature of the calculator so we're not rounding before we get to the final answer, 21.4 degrees. Okay, well once we have that much information, now we can find angle C. Angle C is 180 minus 42 minus 21.4 degrees. So angle C, 116.6 degrees. So no, this is not drawn to scale, but that's okay. <coughs> and now we need to find side C. I'm going to again use my AA pairing. Sine of 42 degrees over 22 is equal to sine 116.6 degrees over C. So C is 22 sine 116.6 degrees over sine 42 degrees. And I get little c to be 29.4. Everything in my picture matches up as far as biggest angle across from longest side, etc., etc. Um, so everything looks good. Now let's save this. We're going to come back to it and explain why in the end this has only one solution and not multiple solutions. But let's kind of move on. We'll, come, we'll pull it back later near the end. All right, let's try one of these side-side angle ambiguous case problems that has no solution and explain why it has no solution. So again, I draw my triangle. Let's just call this A, 85 degrees. So this is little a, 15. Let's just put little b here. So this is capital B and this is capital C, little c. All right, if we begin solving this problem, I'm going to obviously use my AA pairing. So we have sine 
85 degrees over 15 equals, and we're going to attempt to find angle B because we have little b. So the sine of angle B is equal to 25 sine of 85 divided by 15. So I get the sine of angle B to be 1.66032, etc. Therefore, B is equal to the sine inverse of that number. Well, if you were to try that on your calculator, uh, it's not going to be very happy with you. It gives you an error, and at the top it says, um, so this is what the calculator says. Error domain. Um, recall that the domain of an arc sine function is negative one to one. We're, asked to, we're asking the calculator to find arc sine of 1.66, and it's just not possible. Um, here's another way to visually see why it's not possible. If I were to graph a sine function, Okay, recall that the sine function, it's going to look kind of like this. Okay, we are trying to find at which angle do we have a sine value of 1.66. That's way up here. Notice that the sine curve never touches 1.66. Therefore, there is no angle here on the x-axis where this function is equal to 1.66. That's why it's giving me a domain error message. It's just not possible. Okay, So there is, in fact, no solution to this triangle. In other words, these numbers really cannot fit on a triangle. They cannot form a triangle. Alright, next let's look at this side-side angle ambiguous two-solution case. Uh, again, we can draw a picture. You might be finding that after you've done a lot of these that the pictures really aren't necessary. Um, but if you like to see a picture, if you're one of those, um, then go ahead and draw a picture. Draw it as close to scale as you want. Maybe here's A. It's 20.5 degrees. Here's little a, that's 12. Maybe this is little b, it's 31. So that's big B. Here's big C, little c. Okay, so there's kind of the, the start to this problem. I begin by finding angle B. So we're going to set the sine of A over A is equal to the sine of B over B. So sine of B is equal to 31 sine of 20.5 over 12. So let's see, 31 sine 20.5 divided by 12 is 0. Point, hold on, let me do that again. Okay, 0 0.9047, etc. That's less than 1, so certainly we can find the inverse sine of that. And I get angle B then to be about 64.8 degrees. Okay, so that's up here, 64.8 degrees. Now, with that, okay, with that, we could then find angle C by taking 180 minus these two. Um, we could then find little c by setting up another one of these. Okay, well, let's kind of skip all that work because we've done it a couple of times already, and I think you're probably getting the hang of it. Um, so, my question is, why does this have two solutions. Here's why it has two solutions. It comes from the graph again that we just looked at on the last slide.
Okay, our sine graph, again, it's going to come up here, back down, down and up. All right, this time we were finding sine inverse of 0 0.9. Let's just say 0 0.9 is right there, that decimal. And notice that this time, this line hits the x-axis at two places. Okay, One of the places that it hits the x-axis right here is what the calculator gave me, 64.8 degrees. The other spot where it hits the x-axis um, is a solution, but it's not a solution that the calculator is programmed to output. The calculator will only output um, anything from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. Remember, arc sine is the right side of your graph, so it's only going to give me negative 90 to positive 90. It will not give me a number that's bigger than 90, okay? Yet there is one. Um, so how do we find this? Well, it just so happens that these two angles on opposite sides of this 90 degree, these two angles that I want, this one and this one, add to 180 degrees. So if I take 180 minus the 64.8 that the calculator told me, I find here that angle B could also be 115.2 degrees. Okay, It's kind of like a hidden answer. And if B could be this, well then I will find angle C and I'll find little c. Okay, so what we see is that there are actually, uh, in a problem like this, there are two types of, sol two solution sets. Okay, uh, you'd have to find angle B, angle C, and side C, and you'd also have to find this angle B, angle C, and side C. Okay. Now, that said, as promised, I said we'd go back to the ambiguous case that only had one solution and explain why it only had one solution. So let's pull that back and see why that was the case.